Hey, Tracy Repchuk here. And the next step we are going to take a look at is setting up your course in Zoom. So you will be coming from, um, let's say, there's a couple of places here that we can do this. Let's go from uh, the module three, deliver your program. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you don't have it is to click on this and to buy your Zoom. Okay. All right. So you just click in here, sign up. It's free. Okay. To begin with. So you'll click in and select an account, etc. Okay. So what I'm going to do though, because I've already got Zoom, is I'm just going to sign in. <clears throat> and now you are going to set up your webinar. So you'll notice in the setup, I said to order basic plus webinar. All right. So that is the, the type of fee that you'll be paying. In the beginning, though, you can play with free, but this is going to show you what to do when you're formally setting up. So you'll go to the webinar. So meetings are for quickie little meetings, right? Um, and I like to track and monitor who's coming on the webinar, who showed, how long were they there. This allows you to do that. It's a very expanded feature. So what you'll do is you'll schedule a webinar. When it is your first time, however, before you can go running into this, you'll need to do some setting issues, okay? So let's go here for a minute and just make sure. <clears throat> you'll want to uh, make sure that you have telephone and computer, okay? Um, and I'm just looking at the really important ones. Mute participants upon entry, for sure. You want to allow um, chats to happen. And allow private chats as well, and that you save the chats so that when you download your video, that comes as well, because obviously sometimes you know, particularly in a webinar, not so much in a meeting situation, but someone might ask a question that you didn't catch and you can read the chat after. Okay, allow polling, hosts, stuff like that. And you can generally uh, go through these types of settings and set it to the way you want, all right? You can take a look at my settings. These have been finely tuned. Again, allow live streaming um, to Facebook, uh, YouTube. And you will not stream your live uh, trainings. Streaming is for video, uh, sorry, when, uh, promotion. Okay. Alrighty, so our big thing Let's take a look here. <clears throat> no. All right. So let's just go back to our schedule a webinar and go through the various pieces that are going to start to appear. All right, so the first part's relatively easy. So <clears throat> let's say this was your program. So YMDD, and this is, let's just say this 12 week program. Put a little description. Okay. When you have it perfected um, later, you can save as a template or select a template. So, for example, later when you have done this once, 
Um, you can save your, your, your layout as a template and just pull it back. All right, so that's always a nice thing. Um, so when, here is where your schedule comes into play. Okay, so let's say we said, okay, I'm going to do this uh, Tuesday, every Tuesday at, uh, let's for speed's sake, say 9 a.m. It's going to be for one hour. And here's the key right here is recurring webinar. All right, so <clears throat> this does not set up easily, so I will show you what has to happen. Your best bet for now is to make it uh, weekly, okay, and um, and make it on every Tuesday. Now, for this, um, it, it actually every single week for 12 weeks, it, it'll actually probably um, do great. Let's just do that. Repeat every, okay. Okay, and then let's just, just have it repeat every week, and we're going to do it every Tuesday at 9 a.m., and there's going to be after, let's say, 12 occurrences. All right, so it's taken us to, uh, it'll take us to a certain date. So attendees register once and can send uh, or attendees need to register for each or attendees will, and can choose one or more of the occurrences to attend you want them to register once and they can attend any okay you want them, this to be really easy for them um, have this off and off you can always set this after make sure this is always both okay so yes yeah, set up for q a um, this is later. You can play and do practice sessions. Now, <clears throat> um, I record on my local computer. If you have a cloud, you can do that. I am always afraid to do it directly to a cloud in case my internet drops, and that has happened many, 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 many times. <laughs> so I always record to my local computer, and then I upload to a video program. So um, here is a key right here, is where it says record the webinar automatically. This is up to you. I do not like to do that for the main reason that um, you will have to edit after. So what I do is I record when I'm ready to start. Because let's say in the beginning there's like seven minutes of chitter chatter. Nobody wants to sit through that quite frankly, right? Um, so um, I leave that off. When I do have that on, when do I use that is when, um, let's say I'm just doing a quick Q&A like client call of some sort, or I'm doing, if I'm doing an online clarity cleanse call, or if I'm doing a discovery call, I will record it automatically because those calls aren't going anywhere except to like a single person or nobody. It may just be a backup for me, all right? So um, I would do that and then hit schedule. Now, I don't want to hit schedule or else I'm about to have 12 live webinars um, about to appear, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click off this and I'll, I'll just deal with the one for now. But you'll know that once you're setting this up, it will set it up for all 12. Okay, all right, so let's say I say schedule. Okay, so up this comes, okay, and you'll see a couple of things here. Now you'll see all the areas for setting this up in a much bigger way. This right here is the link you will send to your um, attendees. So you'll post this in your private Facebook page and you'll send it in an individual email uh, format. Um, here, you want to have this set to automatically approve, so all of these are fine. And you'll see right now, of course, we have no registrants, all right? So that is the bare minimum to set up your webinar. Next, I'm going to take you through these other options that will help you get set up as well. All right, see you next time.